this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of June 11th through the 17th. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. So Leo, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck along with the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Interesting. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have Judgment. All right, so let's see here, Leo. With judgment at the bottom of the deck here, a decision could be significant. Either you're making a decision or you could be hearing a decision. It could be a legal judgment um, that's coming in. Uh, the overall energy is the Queen of Swords. So those of you that do have uh, maybe something legal that's ongoing, your attorney could be communicating with you definitely. There could be some sort of clarity or truth that's coming in or maybe even some sort of justice that's being served for, for those of you that you do have maybe something legal that's been ongoing. Um, but the Queen of Swords as the overall energy, you know, she's, you know, she's very, very focused. She is someone who is focused on the details. She's thorough. She is a planner. She's very organized. You know, she's a serious queen and, you know, she will use that sword to sever ties from that that's no longer serving her. She's definitely a very serious energy, so um, maybe some of you coming up a little bit more serious this week, very thorough, focused on the details, could be focused on the truth, um, finding something out, you know, wanting things to be fair in some way. But we're starting out with the sun. We do have the sun which is one of my Leo cards. We have the sun, which is, you know, just happiness, content, success. Also, um, the sun does come in and it highlights certain things. So with this queen of swords, some of you could be finding something out. There could be something surfacing, maybe some sort of truth um, that's coming to light here this week. But we have the sun and the eight of pentacles. So eight of pentacles, some of you are maybe really happy with the work that you're doing here this week, no matter if you work for a company or if you're working on a project. It doesn't matter. You know, some of you could just be completely happy with, you know, maybe a project or, you know, something that you've been working very hard on. Truly content and happy with your work, your job for some of you. And there definitely could be some Leos that you're in the spotlight here. So if you just landed a new job or some of you could be moving up within the company that you work for or just simply shining bright. Maybe some of you are simply just being acknowledged here this week for your hard work here. So some of you in the spotlight, some of you shining bright, may be very focused on your job, you know, really, really focused with this energy on your job and being very thorough and doing a good job for some of you. And it could be because you wanna move up, because you wanna move up within the company that you work for. And I say that because we do have this Four of Cups here. And the Four of Cups is not happy with the status quo, emotionally kind of bored, feeling a little flat, uninspired. So it could be that some of you are working so hard to advance because maybe the position that you've been working, you know, maybe you've outgrown it. So some of you, you want something better. You want something more with the Four of Cups here. And what's interesting is you do have a couple of fours. And so fours really speak about your foundation, your stability, your security. And so I think that some of you, that's what you've been working very hard to achieve. And you want to be happy. You just want to be happy. Four of Swords here, this is something you could have been waiting on. You've been working hard, but you've been patient. You've been waiting. Four of Swords, energetically speaking, can be sometimes feeling as though not much is happening or like things are on hold. 
So some of you Leos could have experienced this, been experiencing this, but I feel like your hard work is, is paying off. Eights for me are a karmic number, and with the sun here, there is success with this. So I think that some of you, you've been very patient, and you've been working very hard, and I, I feel like it is going to be rewarding for you. And then we do have the Ten of Wands here. Very interesting. We have the Ten of Wands which can be, you know, some of you feeling stressed out or weighed down by maybe all of the different demands or responsibilities that you have. But, that, you know, this is you dealing with them. You're handling them. You're not dropping this heavy load. And so we have this energy, and then we also have a couple here. I have the Queen of Cups, but then I also have the King of Cups. So very interesting. We have the Queen of Swords, overall energy. Now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So there definitely could be a water sign person, a Scorpio, Cancer, a Pisces individual who is significant. Maybe this is your significant other. And, you know, with the, the, the Ten of Wands... For a few of you, maybe the relationship has had its challenges. You know, maybe there's been some difficulties. Maybe this person has been stressing you out. Um, but with judgment at the bottom of the deck, judgment is a healing energy. And it can represent second chances, rising up from the difficulties. So some of you might be giving this person a second chance. You do have a tremendous amount of healing energy here with Judgment, the Four of Swords, and then the Sun. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely some of you maybe giving this person a second chance or fixing the relationship. Um, and there could be news. There definitely could be news coming in. We have the Page of Wands here. And so you could be hearing something from this person. This person could be hearing something from you. With this Queen of Swords energy, you could be speaking your truth. But news is significant. So some of you are maybe definitely mending a relationship, fixing a relationship, telling someone how you feel. But then there definitely could be a few, a few Leos that you're going in the opposite direction. Um, you are still healing. You are absolutely healing, rising up from maybe this, this situation. And, you know, with this Four of Swords here, you could be going off and spending some time alone. Um, it's a very independent energy here. But if that's the case, you know, I don't see you down about it. Some of you, that's exactly what you want. That would be what makes you very happy. Maybe some of you want to dive into your work. Maybe some of you just want to be alone. Um, with the Four of Cups here, for, the, for some of you on the relationship front, maybe a relationship hasn't been fulfilling uh, emotionally. It, it hasn't been maybe making you happy recently. So definitely very interesting. Let's pull you an additional guidance card, Leo. What else does Leo need to know? Please show me. Additional guidance for Leo. Leo, what else does Leo need to know? Please show me. There we go. All right. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. So maybe some of you need to be more open this week. And someone might be trying uh, to communicate with you. Maybe some of you, you know, some, some might want a second chance. There could be a person around you who wants a second chance. Um, if that's something your heart wants, then maybe needing to be more open to that. The Queen of Swords... She's a very serious queen, and, and no matter if you're male or female, you know, she isn't always the most open, so just be aware of that. You know, she's not 
the most open person or open-minded individual. So, you know, with let yourself receive, I really think that this goes well um, for some of you needing to be more open, needing to be more receptive. And this definitely can be on the relationship front for many of you. Um, and then for others, you know, within your career, you know, you've been working very hard you could be receiving something here um, with the Four of Cups. Maybe it's not exactly what you wanted, but it still could be very, very good for you. So I think that, you know, definitely need to accept what's coming your way here this week. It's very positive. Okay, Leo. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you guys a great week.